Hey all, good adventurers, I'm your host, the Dungeon Master, and welcome to this update video, as we are now over halfway through the month of April 2020. A few things that I wanted to discuss in this uh, particular update video. First and foremost, Chaos Head is still running smoothly. Uh, the rest of the uh, episodes for this month have already been uploaded to the channel and will be readily available on a daily basis at the usual time of 2 p.m. New Zealand Standard Time. Over the weekend I will begin starting work on the uh, episodes for May and possibly June. I think it's still going to continue over the uh, next uh, two or three months because Let's Play Chaos Head is certainly shaping up to be, uh, mm, I wouldn't say the longest, although it might, could definitely exceed Steins Gate, Steins Gate Zero in terms of episodes, but uh, still, still working on it, still pretty fun going through, and I intend to uh, see that Let's Play through to the end, since I've already gotten quite far into it, uh, up to chapter 9 now, the uh, penultimate chapter, with uh, that as well as the final chapter, chapter 10, um, being the last few chapters of uh, this particular Let's Play. Uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to be uh, taking a bit of a uh, minor break in terms of uh, uploading um, episodes at the moment, uh, One that is when Let's Play Chaos Head finally uh, reaches its conclusion. And shortly after that point, I will be uploading uh, episodes of the follow-up Let's Play, which will be Chaos Child, which is the sequel to the events of Chaos Head. I'll be doing it as a completely blind LP. I've been avoiding anything and everything uh, relating to Chaos Child. So uh, that will be a pretty fun experience. And as for uh, other types of Let's Play content, uh, with Biohazard RE3 and Final Fantasy VII Remake currently being on hold um, on my uh, LP schedule as of late, um, been uh, thinking about a few things. Um, just sort of brainstorming a few ideas as to uh, what I can fill the gap with. And uh, I was uh, thinking something along the lines of uh, at some point maybe uh, starting work on doing my eventual uh, real survival let's play of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Uh, the reason being is that, uh, well, two reasons actually, is the fact that uh, Code Veronica X is the uh, follow-up to the PS1 trilogy of the uh, Biohazard slash Resident Evil video games, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, all of which I have uh, completed real survival LPs on my channel, uh, the most recent being RE3, um, which I did sometime last month. How time flies. Uh, the other reason is that uh, I've yet to actually uh, unlock real survival mode on my Nintendo GameCube version of uh, the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, in fact, I haven't even beaten it uh, once. I have to beat it twice, first on New Game and then a for a second time on Once Again in order to unlock uh, the vaunted real survival mode of uh, Resident Evil Remake, which is the first actual, and to my knowledge, the only legitimate time that uh, real survival mode has ever been played in the entire Biohazard series. So uh, that's on the cards as well, but uh, I think I'll tackle Code Veronica X first as a uh, real survival LP. Um, as soon as I get a proper setup, which means uh, connecting uh, my Elgato capture card to my PlayStation 2 and the uh, TV monitor in particular so that I have a proper um, real survival setup, a proper Let's Play Studio setup. Um, however, 
um, with the advent of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 uh, now having happened, um, I have uh, slowly but surely been tempted to uh, return to my, well, semi-roots by uh, once again hoping to finish something that I started uh, well over a year ago, which is, uh, well, the Road 7 series in which I plan to uh, do Let's Plays of the first six Final Fantasy games. It was an attempt that I first tried back in 2010, 10 years ago now, and I tried to redo it again back in 2019 in uh, the month of July. I managed to complete uh, Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy 2 and was about to start to the third leg of the journey, Final Fantasy 3. Uh, but then the whole copper scare happened, and unfortunately I decided to remove all of my videos, um, you know, at the time, because I wasn't sure how things were going to go down, but now that uh, the dust has settled, and uh, things seem to be progressing more smoothly, um, I do have the opportunity to re-upload those uh, very uh, Let's Plays, because while I have removed them from YouTube, I didn't delete uh, them from my computer. I still have the entirety of the Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy 2 LPs uh, safe, uh, uh, safe and sound, um, so I can re-upload those um, at a moment's notice before finally getting back on track with Final Fantasy 3, wrapping up the NES era of Final Fantasy and moving on to the SNES um, era of Final Fantasy with uh, Final Fantasies 4 through 6. And once those are out of the way, uh, I am sorely tempted uh, once, if I uh, get to the end of Final Fantasy 6, to uh, do a full-scale Let's Play of the PS1 version of Final Fantasy 7, not the PS4 version, not the PSP version, not any of the other ports or anything, but uh, the uh, traditional version of Final Fantasy VII. I say traditional in the very loose terms because uh, the original version of Final Fantasy VII is in fact the initial Japanese version, which was a uh, slightly different build of uh, Final Fantasy VII that had uh, different enemy placements as opposed to the uh, localized version, um, which in Japan is known as the international version. Um, also, in the original Japanese version, the uh, super bosses known as the weapons were uh, not featured. Um, well, certain super bosses, such as Ruby and Emerald Weapon, um, which are the optional weapons, um, were not available in the original version of uh, Final Fantasy VII, but they were included in the localized release as well as the Japanese international version of Final Fantasy VII. I want to try and get uh, the PS1 version of Final Fantasy VII uh, done and dusted um, as much as possible um, before I tackle uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake eventually. Uh, the other reason for that is uh, I am sorely tempted to uh, wait um, until the release of the PS5. Um, while I do have a uh, PS4 Pro on hand, uh, yet again I am tempted to uh, wait until the next generation of PlayStation consoles comes out and hopefully get the uh, PS4 Pro equivalent of the uh, PlayStation 5, which would uh, make this a uh, truly gripping epic uh, Let's Play adventure. Um, probably the greatest Let's Play adventure that I've ever or will ever tackle on a channel at least until uh, when part two of Final Fantasy Remake eventually uh, graces our doorsteps. But, um, and then of course there is the uh, minor fact of uh, Command & Conquer Remastered uh, coming out two months from now in uh, June 2020, but uh, that's not, uh, that isn't too much of a priority right now. So, uh, yeah, those are the things that I'm tinkering with once uh, Chaos Head is done, I will probably most likely go Chaos Head slash Final Fantasy 3 and uh, eventually 
at some point maybe do Code Veronica X We Will Survival as a uh, third LP. Um, Chaos Child and Final Fantasy 3 will of course be the uh, main Let's Play content slash priorities for the channel right about now. Um, if you're excited about this as much as I am, and I hope you are, um, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell to be in the loop as to uh, when exactly uh, certain Let's Play episodes will be available, when they'll be released. And also, if you want to go the extra mile, please uh, feel free to donate uh, to my Patreon over at patreon.com slash thedm38. Uh, make sure to include capital uh, T, D, and M uh, in that. That's patreon.com uh, slash the, the DM38, capital T, D, and, and M. Um, so that uh, you can actually make sure that you're in the right place. And uh, your support will actually go an incredibly long way. Also, uh, though I may not be online all the time, uh, on my Discord server, feel free to uh, hang about in my Discord server, which is uh, tentatively titled The Guild of the DM. I know it's still a bit of a work in progress, so um, in terms of actually uh, keep getting it up and running to uh, how I would like it to go, but um, it's uh, there if people want to actually uh, check it out and see what else is going on. So uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this uh, rather lengthy update video, and uh, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. As always, adventurers, I'm your host, the Dungeon Master. Until next we meet.